What I'd like to do in this step is to create a vector grid that represents each of the cells that you see in the raster image. So what we're going to do here is to go to Horth Tools, which I've already activated and, and downloaded and made sure is working okay. And if you're under Sampling Tools, you can use this tool called Create Vector Grid. It's also called a fishnet if you're, using it, if you're creating one through the Arc Toolbox. So if I go to Create Vector Grid, what I'd like to do is to create a grid that's exactly the same as the NDVI subset. So it's going to, so the vector grid is going to have an output the same as NDVI sub, and it's for the space between lines, it's going to have a spacing of three meters. Okay, so this will actually give me cells that are 30 by 30 meters, which are exactly representative of my Landsat NDVI image. I then want to tick off the snap vector grid option, so I click that off there, and I'll come down to some more options. I'm happy to keep this as a polygon feature and you'll see why when I go through later parts of the exercise. And then the new shape file that I want to create, I'm going to call it Landsat Grid. But I've obviously already created this, so I don't need to do this now. What I do need to do is change the projection though, because if I don't have the projection correct, then I'll have issues further down the line. So I'm going to click on the button next to the projection definition and click Select. And go to Projector Coordinate Systems. UTM, WGS84, Sun Hemisphere, and scroll across to Zone 52 South. And I know that because I know the general region that I'm working in. And I click Add here. I click Next down the bottom, and then finalize that when it's ready. OK, so you'll see that the projection definition has changed a little bit. If I just go in here, and I'll call it Landsat Grid. Save that and click OK. It's a relatively quick process. And once I've done that, you'll see that a grid has been created. Now what I want to do is to make sure that this grid is exactly the same as the NDVI image. So if I go to the properties, which is just off the bottom of the screen here, the symbology tab and click the symbol, and I want to go to hollow and click OK and OK again. So what you'll see here is it now basically looks like I've outlined every single raster cell and they should line up exactly so you should have a black line which is now a vector based on the Landsat NDVI subset image so I could turn that off and you see individual squares along with the NDV NDVI point. So what we're going to do in the next few steps is then to link all these data sets together to come up with a quantitative algorithm for how we assess vegetation density in these cells.